Discover today about food. Your body is an amazing machine. You can dance and jump, sing a song, la, la, read a book, la, 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 push a wheelbarrow. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you said we were doing a show on food, Tenderheart. What does all this activity stuff have to do with food, anyhow? Everything, Grumpy. Food is the fuel which keeps our bodies going. We couldn't do any of these activities without it. Let's take a look at what our ancestors ate. Ooh, that's no ancestor of mine. Ah! Cavemen ate their food raw. Later, someone figured out that food tastes better when it's cooked. Whoa. We take you now live to the Forest of Feelings, where we join Swiftheart Rabbit in her rabbit hole. Hello, Tenderheart. My recipe for today is carrot and ginger salad. That sounds delicious. Let's see how it's done. Right out, Tenderheart. Great, Swiftheart. Can you play that back in slow motion, please? Right out, Tenderheart. Here you see me peeling three carrots. Now I'm grating them. Next, I'm putting the carrots in a bowl. And now I'm squeezing the juice out of an orange. Here I am adding the juice to the carrots. Then I take a spoonful of mayonnaise. I put that in the bowl along with about half a box of seedless raisins. A dash of powdered ginger and a pinch of salt. Here you see me mix everything well. And top it off with a dollop of marmalade and a piece of candy ginger. Like so! Fantastic, Swiftheart! Could we see that again in normal time? Right-o, Grumpy! Amazing. Ta-da! Thank you very much, Swiftheart Rabbit. You're very welcome. Like some? <gasps> How did you... Try it. You'll like it. Mmm. Not bad. Mmm. Mm. Yum. Have you ever wondered how something as simple as the sandwich was first created? Back in the days of Old England, the Earl of Sandwich was playing the latest board game with some of his friends. I say, pardon me while I gather us some nourishment. Oh, that Earl. He's an absolute genius in the kitchen. Oh, uh, honey, a sweetie pie, sugar plum. Knock it off, Earl. What do you want? The, uh, gang and I are, uh, a bit hungry and, uh... And you want me to fix something up, right? Well, I, uh... Oh, all right. You're so helpless in the kitchen, Earl. Now, let's see what we can whip up. How about a couple of slices of bread? Some butter? A bit of lettuce? Yes, that sounds right. 
some sausage, maybe... Oh, what are you making? I'm not sure. Some tomatoes, a bit of mayonnaise, a pickle, and that's it. What is it? Well, it's a... it's a... it's a sandwich. Oh. And that's how the sandwich was invented. Or is it quiche? Okay, Grumpy. What do you think our little cave person is painting? Maybe it's one of those huge wild animals he and his fellow cave persons hunted for food. Tenderheart, that's a barbecue. He painted a barbecue. For a moment there, I thought that this was a serious educational program. Now that was ridiculous. <laughs> Hi, kids. It's me, Braveheart Lion, in a peanut suit. Hope I don't get sued. Anyways, the reason I'm wearing this here peanut disguise is because I'm going to sing to y'all about how to make peanut butter balls. Pretty cute idea, huh? Now, peanut butter balls, or PB balls, as us aficionados like to call them, taste mighty good, and they're mighty good for you, too. Well, I think that's about enough tuning, so let's get down to business. Oh, for PB balls, for PB balls, this is what you do. Get a big bowl, yes, a big bowl, and a measuring cup, too. You need granola and brown sugar and some skim milk powder, too. Raisin sesame seeds or dried coconut and, of course, the PB, too. Take one cup granola, that's 250 milliliters, and you put it in the bowl. Add the same amount of skim milk powder and put it in there, too. Then get your raisins and brown sugar. Measure half a cup of each. That's 125 milliliters for you metric folk. And then you dump them in the bowly, and then in with your hands you reach. Uh, mix them all up, mix them all up, so it all looks just the same. When it looks like chunky white stuff, you know you've mixed it up enough. Bet you'd never guess I'm just making this song up as I go along, huh? How does he do it? Oh, take the peanut, take the peanut, take the peanut butter out. Fill two cups, that's 500 milliliters. They'll have fun trying to get it out. And then you dump it, then you dump it, then you dump it in the bowl. And then you mix it with the white stuff. Homogeneity's your goal. That means you mix it till it all looks the same. And then you roll them into ballies about one inch in diameter. That's 2.5 centimeters, about the size of a ping pong ball. And then you roll them in sesame seeds or in toasted coconuts. Put them in the refrigerator. Now you have your PB balls. Oh. Well, there you go, partners. Now you know how to make them. Of course, they don't really have those cute little faces on them. Mm. Here's our prehistoric person in his daily search for food. Ah. I see he's decided to go vegetarian today. No. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, potatoes. A wise choice, full of vitamins and minerals and... Huh? Hmm, I think he's got something there. What? 
No ketchup? <laughs> well, Grumpy, how did you like our look at food facts and fables? Well, it was fun, but I still don't see how food keeps me going. You don't? Wow! Well, looks like Grumpy understands how food gets him going after all. Night, folks.